Hello everyone, this video is going to go over a short discussion of the Reynolds number, which is, the Reynolds number is a non-dimensional number that characterizes the ratio of inertial forces to viscous forces in a fluid. So as velocity of a fluid increases, the Reynolds number increases. Uh, and people will say when it increases above 4,000, then it's becoming a turbulent flow. Really, this 4,000 number is for pipe flow, and it's really more of a rule of thumb rather than a hard and fast rule because it's dependent on the geometry of the of the of the tube walls. But we can calculate the Reynolds number is equal to rho v d over mu, which is density. Uh, times velocity times a characteristic diameter times or divided by the divided by the absolute dynamic viscosity or we can use uh, this velocity times a characteristic diameter over the kinematic viscosity such as this so for an example let's say we have a a tube that is uh, 0 0.1 meters in in diameter. We have a flow going in it that's 2 meters per second and the temperature of the fluid is equal to 300 Kelvin. Let's call it air. We'll call it air. And the density is equal to 1.21 kilograms per meter cubed. We can calculate the Reynolds number. We'll say the Reynolds number is equal to our 1.21 kilograms per meter cubed times our 2 meters per second times our uh, 0 0.1 meter diameter of our tube divided by, if we look up the viscosity for air at 300 Kelvin, we get a value of 1.983 times 10 to the negative fifth kilograms per meter second. And so we can work this out and it's equal to 12,203 and some change. And so this is a unitless parameter, right? Our units all cancel out. And so we would say this 12,000 is, is significantly above 4,000 and we're in a tube so we would assume this would be a turbulent flow if we were if we were looking for a transition from to see whether we were in a, in a laminar or a turbulent regime. So I hope you found this video useful and have a good day.